What's up with the family? Black Phoenix checking in. We're inside Mama's house doing some renovations. I got one of the homies in here right now helping me do some mudding. Man, great mud finisher, man. I really appreciate it. He came through. Let me tell you what happened. Just happened. So me and him sitting here working. The crew come here around 12 o'clock. They supposed to have been here. They finally pulled up the ones I've been paying. They finally pulled up, came in, grabbed a couple things. Oh, I got to run to the store real quick. Took off and left, family. They ain't, all the stuff we not already paid, they supposed to be finishing doing, they ain't did. They ain't finished. I can't make this up, homie, am I lying? No. No, <laughs> the man no, came no. here and grabbed the stuff and left, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I did that. They did that, man. I'm talking about slick, but I'm glad I took pictures of everybody because I'm going to make sure that I put it on Craigslist when I put my little thing up. Put my little ad up and let them know that do not trust these folks. They will start a project, will not finish it. They do do decent work. They do good work, but they will not finish it because they're going to run through the money. They got they got habits. They got habits that control them and they don't control their habits. So it's evident. You know what I'm saying? Like actions speak loud in words. I don't judge nobody, but actions speak loud in words. We supposed to be finishing some stuff. And then they just came in here and left. So I'm glad that I was here because if I wasn't here, family, I guarantee you a lot of my stuff would have been cut. My stitching cords, this and that, all this, my lights, all stuff would have been gone. They would have been gone. I had already paid for stuff that they didn't even get, like the sheetrock. I paid for the sheetrock to be up on the walls and that the sheetrock to be paid for. And I had to come down here from Georgia, buy the sheetrock and hang the sheetrock. I can't make this up, man. So, beware. Beware of those contractors on Craigslist. Always give a ref, find, get references. <laughs> Never give full deposits down. You know what I'm saying? Because, especially when you buy all the material, always supervise or have a supervisor around because someone gonna run off with some money and not finish something and not get something done. It's evident. So to save you the headache, listen to me. To save you the headache, don't put yourself in that bind. So I just want to go live. A little stress right now. But we doing what we doing anyway. My guy here, he's helping me out, man. It's a blessing. We he getting that part done. I can do this, you know, I can do some painting. So I've been doing some priming. So I can fall back and do some touch-up paint. But I'm just doing the priming now. I'm gonna fall back and do some touch-up paint. Then we got to do the rest of the floors and get the rest of the stuff done and the carpet. Inside of the bed, uh, inside of the closets. They didn't finish it. They supposed to finish it inside of the closet. They get halfway in there. They didn't finish it. So inside the closet, they didn't come back and finish it. So I'm just gonna let you know, man. This is what it is, man. It's real out here. That's what people do. So you got to be aware. You got to be cautious. But we most definitely gonna put that info. I'm gonna put that info in this too. Just so if you in the local area, Little Rock area, do not mess with these people, man. Do not. Do not. They'll rob you blind, man. Hog on.